Getting mares to cycle is a crucial part of a successful early breeding season. Dr. Ed Squires of the University of Kentucky's Gluck Equine Research Center is with us today to discuss one illuminating approach. I'm Erin Ryder, news editor of The Horse, your guide to equine health care. Welcome to the Ryder Report. We know that lights are used commonly to encourage mares to come into estrus. What's the theory behind it and how does it work? Yeah, this is something that was developed uh, at the Gluck here in, back in the 60s, and we now know from research that's been done uh, over the last 20, 30 years that, that light, when you add extra light, you, you basically inhibit the pineal gland. The pineal is inhibitory to reproduction, so if you provide light, you inhibit the pineal. That suppresses melatonin, which allows some of these gonadotropins like follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone to be secreted. Once they're secreted, then the ovary responds and the mare starts cycling. How do most farms manage this? I think, uh, at least in this area of the country, they would tend to uh, put, put the mares outside during the day, bring them in before dark, and add enough light in the afternoon and evening to make up a 16 hour day. A lot of the other places that I've been to in the, in the west and southwest would tend to, to maybe leave the mares outside and put them in a paddock situation where the whole paddock is lit. So you have, again, extra light in the afternoon and evening to make up a total of 16 hours. It's been shown that uh, adding the light in the afternoon and evening is much more beneficial than trying to add light in the morning. What's the overall success rate to this approach? I think one way of looking at it, if you had 100 mares under lights and they've been under lights for 30 to 60 days, then probably 85 to 90 percent of those mares are going to cycle earlier. And, and to me, a, a success is that the mare cycles about two months earlier than she would if she didn't have artificial light. And how do you know if it's working? I think the way you know it's working is whether she comes into heat and ovulates earlier than she would if she hadn't had lights. So again, uh, typically the studies been done show that the mare cycles about two months ahead of time. Where can horse owners learn more about this approach? I think there's a lot of continuing education programs around the country, um, different short courses. Uh, we're actually having one here next week at the Gluck. There's some in Colorado, Ohio. Lots of these uh, universities have continuing education programs. And then I think you can go on the web and, and find out information from, uh, from different articles on the web as well as county extension agents and horse specialists. Great. Thanks very much, Dr. Squires. That's it for this week's Rider Report. Visit thehorse.com for all the latest news on equine health care, management, and welfare. I'm Erin Ryder, news editor of The Horse, your guide to equine health care. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.